Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Be Righteous back again with another Starfield video. Today, I'd like to discuss the controversy that surrounds the single player aspect of Starfield and how every video I upload about this game, there's a comment expressing how much better Starfield would be if they had multiplayer. Well, I'm here to tell you two things in response to that. For one, Bethesda are too good and don't necessarily need multiplayer. And number two, multiplayer might actually be added to Starfield. Stay tuned to find out how. So if you're interested in builds, guides, gameplay, and insightful discussions, then don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe. Oh boy, this video has a lot of information, a lot of solid information that might actually make its way into Starfield. I'm not one to make speculative videos, so when I stumbled across this, I had to make a video about it. I say that Starfield could get multiplayer simply because they already did it before, meaning they added multiplayer to a single player game, they being the modders. And we know that this game is being supported 100% by mods, but doing this isn't an easy thing at all. Matter of fact, it could be one of the most difficult mods to pull off. Adding multiplayer functionality to a single player game like Starfield is a complex task that often requires access to the game's source code and engine. And it's unclear whether the modding tools provided for Starfield would be even robust enough to enable modifications like this. Additionally, even if a modder manages to pull this off, there could be so many technical and gameplay challenges to overcome. But that doesn't mean that Starfield won't add multiplayer because, like I said before, it was successfully implemented in Skyrim years ago. It's a mod called Skyrim Together for the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. This allows players to experience the game in a multiplayer co-op experience. This mod was developed by a group of modders who literally went in and reverse engineered the entire game and created the systems to enable multiplayer functionality. The crazy thing about all this is that even years later, this team known as the Together team is still supporting the mod today. This is why I think it's possible that maybe the same team will do this in Starfield. They created this group out of pure passion for the game, by the way. And if you head over to the link in the description, you can see that they've remastered this project just a couple of months before Starfield's release. It's now called Skyrim Together Reborn. And here's what they had to say about it. Created through the work of a small team of volunteers, the aim of the mod is to develop a true Skyrim multiplayer experience that brings online multiplayer into this otherwise strictly single player game. Our focus is to create a co-op like experience for about two to eight players, not an MMO, but we have tested with 30 plus players. <laughs> That's pretty crazy actually. We only support the latest patches of special edition and anniversary edition. Now, I said this is a very difficult task to pull off to say the least, which is why it may or may not be made for Starfield. Do you know what it means to actually reverse engineer something? Let me give you a little understanding. It involves analyzing a piece of software, like a game, to understand how it works by dissecting its code, structures, and functions. In the context of creating a multiplayer mod, it means figuring out how the game handles its single player mechanics and then modifying the code to introduce multiplayer features. This process requires a deep understanding of programming, game design, and network protocols. Now fortunately, I know a little bit about this because I'm in the process of developing my own game in Unreal Engine 5. And I've just begun taking steps to adding the multiplayer aspect to it. I will tell you that implementing this is a pain and requires a very meticulous workflow because there are layers to it. One of these layers, you decide which order, is called replication. It goes hand in hand with the code, but it's a little more lenient, meaning that you can afford to miss some of the replication, like animation replication. Here's an example of what I'm talking about, and bear with me a little longer. I'm just trying to help you understand better how this works so you can see if it's a possibility for Starfield. Now let's say when turning your character left or right, the animation is played accordingly, right? The feet moving or whatnot. Replication makes it possible for the other player in the lobby, be it PvP or co-op, to see the animation of those feet moving as well. If replication is not applied in that instance, the feet just won't move as the player turns left or right. Only the player himself can see it. So you know what I mean when I say you can afford to miss one animation replication here and there, but not with the source code. If one line of code is missing, it'll definitely throw off the entire system, which is why I said it's such a meticulous workflow. So creating a complex mod like Skyrim together comes with challenges to say the least. Only a select few are willing to take on a task like this. Maybe that's why the group called the Together team made that remastered version so that they can get ready to do the same for Starfield, who knows? We'll just have to see. Now as for performance goes, initially, 
The mod had its share of bugs and stability issues due to the complexity of multiplayer interactions, synchronization, and the limitations of the engine. Over time, the modding team worked to address these issues and improve the mod's stability and performance. However, maintaining such a mod over the long term can be a significant undertaking, especially as the base game receives updates that may impact the mod's functionality. But honestly, I checked it out myself, and the co-op looks legit, actually. Here's a video showing it in action. <laughs> All right, everybody, <laughs> follow me now. Can't we just teleport down to you? Uh, we he could say, in theory, but uh, I have It's probably going to just be broken for us, though. We Oh, you didn't As we have over the scene, he's been fighting stuff that we don't see. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, it's like he's been over. fighting mages and uh, Actually, there's no way through. Oh, I know why, because I accepted the quest and you guys didn't. All right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. He's still alive for oh, me. Oh, her head is gone. Her head is her head is gone. She's she's attacking me, but her head is gone. Oh, the scourge is still alive for me. And he yeah. hurts. Yeah, it is, it is. Scourge is alive. Oh, oh he's gone. Oh, 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 oh. Bye. <laughs> he's still alive, he's still alive. No, he's actually uh, disintegrated. Necromancer, too. This bitch won't die. Oh, there, there we go, go. there we go, got him. Oh. Alright, there's a bunch of Draugr Whites up the west, west stairs. <laughs> Are you guys. Stairs, I'm here. Yep. Fought's back. Out of the back to fight. There's a lot of guys. Oh, whoa, there's Oh, he's a frozen lot. solid, okay. Oh, we got I some felt, shouts. I just got one shot. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Okay, get up the... Oh, I'm slow as hell. Now, applying this knowledge to Starfield, the feasibility of creating a multiplayer mod will ultimately depend on the game's architecture, the tools provided to modders, the dedication of the modding community, and the complexity of introducing multiplayer features to a single-player game. Starfield is definitely not like Skyrim or Fallout in regards to the procedural generation, multiple planets, and combat, which has been completely overhauled. However, it will certainly offer exciting new experience if implemented, but they're not without complex endeavors that may come with challenges. So I know this was a lot to process, but I also know it's been on many people's minds. This subject of PVP, co-op, you know, and based on what I've told you, I have one question to ask. Is it worth it to try and add multiplayer co-op to Starfield or is it just fine the way it is as single player? Please share your thoughts below. Personally, I think that Skyrim, Fallout 4, even Oblivion back in the day, Morrowind, were just fine without multiplayer. Those games would just take me in all the way without the need for any of that. Also, games that I played growing up in the past were always either single player or I'd have to play with a friend sitting right next to me as we played co-op or PvP. So I've always appreciated the single player aspect of games. Then came the era of online gaming with Halo. You all know that. The rest is history. So I think this conversation has many different perspectives that may or may not justify adding multiplayer to Starfield. Once again, if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, don't hesitate to drop a like and subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you in my next video. This game comes out in less than two days, man. I'm so hyped and I can't wait. Be right out. Thank mm -hmm. you.